Welcome to a time gone by. Please like and share this video and be sure to subscribe to help the channel grow. Now let's get right into the 12 toys that every 90s kid wanted. The Nintendo Game Boy launched mobile gaming into the modern era. It was reliable, simple, and bundled with Tetris. The Game Boy was launched in 1989, but it was undoubtedly one of the hottest games of the 90s. Moon shoes were shoes fitted for children that had springs in them, making kids jump higher and feel like there was no gravity just like on the moon. They were basically like little trampolines for kids' feet. Polly Pockets are the beloved mini dollhouses and compact carrying cases that every 90s girl will remember. Standing less than an inch tall, Polly Pocket figurines live in brightly colored plastic boxes that open up to reveal a playing scenario like a dollhouse, the beach, a park, an amusement park, a pet store, you name it. Needless to say, they were a huge hit in the 90s. If you were lucky enough to have a Nintendo 64 as a kid, then you were probably the coolest kid in the classroom. The N64 was Nintendo's fifth generation gaming console and had gone on to produce some of the most beloved characters in gaming history. It was released with Super Mario 64 and Pilot Wing 64. Other classic Nintendo 64 games included GoldenEye, Mario Party, The Legend of Zelda, and Donkey Kong 64. Exactly 30 years after the first Easy Bake Oven debuted in 1963, Hasbro refined the American Kitchen toy with an introduction of the Snack Center in 1993. And just like the real kitchens of the era, the Snack Center was sleek, digital, and multifunctional. It was super popular with girls in the 1990s. The Talk Boy was a portable cassette player and recorder that was made popular by the 1992 movie Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. When the character Kevin McAllister uses the device to change the pitch of his voice, by using the slow playback feature, he was able to sound older and book a room at the Plaza Hotel. The first line of Beanie Babies debuted in Chicago in 1994. The arrival of the bead-filled plush toys started one of the greatest and longest-running collector crazes in history. The bubble finally burst when the floppy animal dolls got so popular that they were no longer exceptional, but not before making their creator, Ty Warner, a billionaire several times over. If you grew up in the 80s or 90s, you knew there was no joy, quite like hopping up and down on one foot with a skip it. They peppered suburban neighborhoods and schoolyards alike. Originally released in the 80s, then re-released with a makeover a decade later, the skip it was one of the most popular toys of the 1990s. The Tamagotchi was a keychain-sized digital pet that had to be fed, cleaned, played with, and eventually needed to make friends with your friend's Tamagotchi. In the winter of 1996, parents across America trampled each other on Black Friday and scoured stores for the hottest Christmas toy of the year, and perhaps of all time. It was Tickle Me Elmo, a Sesame Street spinoff that launched a must-have craze not seen since the Cabbage Patch Kids a decade prior. According to Times Union, the doll, which exchanged giggles for tickles and hugs, retailed for $30, but went for as much as $1,000 on the secondary market at the height of the craze. The Pokemon trading card game was first published in 1996 and was the best trading card game amongst the ranks of other popular 90s toys. Pokemon was already popular thanks to the Game Boy, and by introducing Pokemon cards, Pokemon could be enjoyed in the school playground. Whoever won the game got to keep the cards, making it highly competitive. Even if you didn't play the game, trading cards with friends was popular, with some special or rare cards having a higher trading value than others. Bigger, fuzzier, and more complex than the digital pets that came before them, Furby changed the ePet game forever. Introduced in the fall of 1998, the big-eyed, big-eared Furby was an immediate and massive success. Although they were initially cute, they became so creepy when they would start talking to you from your bedroom closet in the middle of the night. What toy do you remember from the 1990s? 
leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.